Howdy peeps and peoples, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Today what I got for y'all is kind of a messed up little video. It, uh, I think y'all will like it, uh, so don't be discouraged. But we did some mill modifications, and I kind of want to show them off. They're small, there are a bunch of little modifications we made through this rainy weather. Um, and now we're on the back side of it, and some of them didn't make it. That's the part of learning, man. That's the there's no hiding from failure. I mean, it just it, I know, and you shouldn't call it failure. You should just call it uh, um, falls, because <laughs> we get back up again. But I'll take you through that, and then I'm gonna finish the video up. I had some, I was on this oddball corner, and for some reason this morning I did turn it on. I was doing some power line trees and stuff, kind of stressing out. So I got like five or six minutes or something of cutting out some hard power line around a big power line. Um, but uh, let's go check it out, see what y'all think. I hope you like it. First item of business here, you see that where the, the Walter and uh, they painted the... Uh, helped Walter. I forget. Walter and one of them helped, uh, they painted this here. The, the This is new. This catwalk here we put because the debarker carriage comes down here and we can work on the carriage here on this catwalk. Now he's munching on some pallet wood there and it's, it's just, he sound rough go at it. Some of this wood we send in has got, it's naughty and it's aggravating. That's maple in it. And I hate to see the struggle because we got a aggressive head and uh, if it ain't quite right man you can tear into the wood and I mean really so we're, we're nervous about this uh, th it's one of our things we've been digging into here lately and that's banana log and them son of a bucks don't want to roll on a bull rolls worth a hoot but anyways back to subject the green catwalk you're seeing here is new that big six inch tubing square tubing is a box frame we're making around as logs to keep them from falling out of bounds. That's so, and, and them, them two additions are fantastic additions. Operators love it, everybody loves it. Uh, that's a win. But let's go to the not so winning part. The next item down here is one that me and Robin put a lot of effort into and was really proud of it. It's this flap scraper. Now you see a mud flap that's got the four fresh bolts in it there at the bottom of the screen. That thing sticks out and cleans the barn cleaner paddles off because when you get into the spring and the bark comes off in big chunks, they don't make it through they uh, uh oh the chunks get stopped up and stuff in there so we put this me and robin put this flat thing with bob on there here let me i'm moving the camera around now hang on let me uh let me catch up to y'all there get it turned right side up so anyways what happened i guess i, I was gone when this happened they didn't take a picture of it to help me for science it just they just cut it out of there because it didn't work but I guess stuff's laying over the top of it and getting balled up in there. So it's not working. We got us another idea we're going to do um, when we get to it with maybe belting hanging from way up. Um, but I'll have to get back with you on that see how that works. But uh, this, what you're looking at, is not going to work. And let me take you now to the edger. Here's our next one. It's an ongoing study here. I've been battling this since last year. Uh, you know, just on the back of my mind trying to come up with a system. And the great is a concept that'll work. Problem is, is this grate's way too, way too 
fine. Them pieces that you're looking like a piece I pulled out a second ago, them pieces can't be making it into barn cleaner because that's what screws up the barn cleaner. But all these little pieces on the floor in front of me, them little bitty knickknacks, them can make it. The ones you're in the screen right now. That big one I just took out, that's a negatory. So I got to figure out how to screen. There, that's a little better. And I need to hang up. I don't know. I ain't figured it all out yet. I mean, I'm getting closer. The slide thing's going to work. See how the barn cleaner's running underneath it? That's what takes the wood, the, the sawdust out and takes it to the sawdust pile. Problem is, them sticks get in there and they screw up the barn cleaner. Now, the little sticks like sitting on my knee and around my knee there, them, them, aren't, them, them aren't problems. Them, them's no problem. It's the chunks of wood that's the problem. Um, anybody got any ideas? Uh, that's regular catwalk that I put in there, and that's, it's, 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 uh, we're going down the right path, but, and what's going on is that sawdust is going to build up there, and it'll finally make a little stack, a little pile right there, and then it's kind of like, uh, a berm at the edge of a field pile in a rock quarry. You know, the berm builds up, the edger builds the berm up, and then everything just slides back in the barn cleaner. It's not bad. At the end of the day, it's like three scoop shovel fulls, and that's clean, you know. But here's the thing. I need to be filling that up. I'd like to have a catch there for the long pieces to where once every couple hours, somebody reaches over and cleans it out. I know it ain't great. It ain't perfect idea, but it can be done right before break, and it can be done without shutting the mill down. In some species, there won't be hardly any of it anyways. But then some species like <clears throat> ash, hard maple, which is what they're sawing right now. The hard maple spits them out. Um, ash, hard maple. There, there's a chunk. See that chunk right there? That's the... I, I need to catch that chunk. And maybe some of them sticks, but that chunk, that's the one I need to catch. Um, anything smaller than that chunk can go in the cleaner. But anything that size and bigger I need to catch. So I'm thinking maybe diagonal grates that has like a four inch. Think of the grates if they run at 45 degrees uh, at a diagonal. Uh, at the same plane you're looking at. You know, it's sloped down like it is. But run a 45 degree diagonal. So where all that fuzz, all that fuzz has got to fall through. Or else somebody's got to reach in there and clean it out once in a while. So that ain't, that ain't the, you know, that ain't going to work. You know, I'm sitting there staring at it right now. I'm kind of depressed because I'm, I'm realizing this is, uh, that I'm getting there. I mean, this, the, this idea is going to work, but it's, this idea is not going to work. And so I end up pulling the grate out of there. Maybe diagonal bars at a 45 degree angle from top right down to bottom left or maybe like a triangle in the center to the sides, you know, with the diagonal bars and uh, four or five inch opening. I, I don't know. Maybe say, I don't know. I don't know. It's, you know. What's in there is not working. Maybe, maybe it just take a like an eight inch opening. There, I'm pulling a grate out. I'm like, all right, this ain't working. I'm so proud of this grate too, because it could be pulled out and removed. But it ain't working. I'm like, who's who's crapping who? See that stick? I need to catch. Ah, oh, it's just hard hard to say. Anybody got any ideas? Let me know. Now we're down pallet stock. I'm, I'm showing you down here at the Ultimizer because I'm really proud of myself. I got the, uh, we've been having link troubles and I got them figured out. <laughs> the guys really got a chuckle out of this. The, the, the way this belt works, <clears throat> this chop saw runs off a computer program uh, on Windows. 
it uh, it knows it it's got the board links in it and through photo sales and through photo sales and an encoder it gets the links down and, and it can optimize the amount of board available and cut it whatever links is necessary to accommodate is what the concept of the saw is. All right, this is down inside the saw cabinet. You see the saw belts running there. We was down to a few belts. The belts was squealing and everything else. Um, so we replaced the saw belts. But that perforated wheel you see spinning, that's the encoder. And if you see the aluminum housing there, that's the four bolts there that holds the encoder on. I forgot to put the bolts in it. <laughs> Everybody in the deck on pallet room really got a kick out of tater making that mistake now i asked them if that's where they want to be when jesus comes back to pick it on poor old tater here on the daggone ultimizer but so what was going on is the housing was a wobbling a bit and they was getting all kinds of messed up links well i went to chasing everything through this saw or I, of course i stumbled on a few other problems of the uh the <clears throat> drive motor on the belt it's got an external fan because it's dc uh servo style motor and it don't spin fast enough to cool itself so there is a 220 volt single phase fan motor on the bottom that that that, that cools it i don't know if it'll show it no i that you can catch a glimpse of it down there but i didn't show it but any words uh I had to. I found that that fan wasn't spinning, so I, I monkeyed with it and found problems in the fuse. I think it's trying to run off one phase for a long time because solda is a long story. But anyways, that fan and there's poncho changing bl uh, bl uh, blade, but because the end holder issue, I caught that, which saved us from burning up a daggone seven thousand dollar DC drive motor uh, because it's got encoders in it too and uh if something happens to that motor our motor re repair shop in jasper they said oh well, they can't fool with that because it's got it's a big deal it's got internal encoder and that and uh an external encoder i think it's got like two encoders in there something something weird like that to where the motors basically you got to be a daggone rocket scientist to figure it out i guess so if uh so I got to take good care of that drive motor because that's a pile of, pile of change if that thing goes bad. But, yeah, then here we're getting the wood miser up and rolling. And Poncho, he runs that metal, man. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good man, old Poncho is. He's a, all of them's good man, but Poncho's a real good one. And, uh, and he, got, he communicates well. Poncho don't have no problem communicating. Nah, and a lot of, a lot of, especially country guys, a lot of us country boys, we had get problems communicating from time to time because, uh, I don't know why. I guess because we wasn't exposed to people as much. <laughs> there he is at a good time. But now, Poncho, if you step in there to help him, the best thing to do is get your mouth shut, get your ears open because he's going to help, he's going to, and he's not a he's not a, a dick about it or nothing. I mean, he 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 knows what he's doing. And if you're coming in there to help, you he knows what he needs you to do to help him. Now I love that because when you come, I love, and some people get with big egos, they don't like that because you know they feel like they're getting their toes stepped on. But no, when you I like a guy like that because when you come in to do to help him, you don't want to beat around a bush and fart around. You want somebody. Hey, this is what I need. Can you help me do this? And there, there was a, 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 a proxy uh, photo cell I was having a little trouble with, and uh, it's doing good now. It turns green when the board's in front of it, but you ought to get, see that red light, that flash of red? 
that red light lets that photo cell, it's open. It's open. Right now, that cell, that switch is shut. It's open right now. Waiting on board, I guess. Waiting on board. Waiting on board. There. It hit a board. Now, when that switch switches, it tells the computer, hey, there's a beginning of the board. And that other one right there that I'm shining on right there, that tells the, 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 that's the measuring station. So, the first photo cell was beginning of the measuring station. Second photo cell is the end of it. So the computer starts calculating, and then when it gets to that one, the one right here in front of the screen, then the computer knows the distance from there to the saw, and, it, and based off of what the encoder's doing, the computer's ready to make a, a decision on, on the cuts. Now you can look, you see the dotted line, look at the left of the screen on there. There you see all the number stack come in? That number stack is what's left and what it's whacking. Now listen, there, it's new board. There, it caught the end of the board. When the board goes into where it sees the whole board, it can make its judgment on the cuts. But when you see it come in as one and one and one, that's a long board that it ain't got in. Uh, let me see. There, there, it got its whole cut stack there again. There, there's a, it got a full cut stack. There, you see that dotted line in between the numbers there? All right, that's another board. It's a, it's a beginning of another board. There, that's a lot. That was a cut from a long board. Oh, you'd have to slow it down and kind of catch these. But there's a cut from a long board right there again, and then it gets to finish up. You know, it's got to, the end of the board's got to pass the eye before the computer can start making an optimizing decision because it's got to be able to see the whole board. Gosh, that sounded confusing. I'm sorry. I, I know what it is, and I'm confusing myself. So I apologize. I'll finally, I'll get in there someday and, organ, and, and explain that properly. But, uh, and here they are coming off the slide to Poncho. Now, a slide ain't a good design. Poncho lives with it, but it's, it don't work good enough. But I don't know what to do without a bunch of effort to make it right for him. And there always seems to be other priorities, you know, ahead of it. But someday I intend to fix this spot here. It's not a good spot. It's not handy for Poncho. Poncho don't need any more aggravation what he's done ready God. You know, he needs he needs that stuff to work right for him. But I'm going to shut this off. Let's get out to the woods and uh, let me finish this video up cutting them few trees out there in the woods by the power line. Well, we'll try this again. The daggone camera batteries is dead my other camera i don't know where it's at i assume it's in the man cave i'm working against first off my daggone saw blade the valve stuck on the daggone the spool stuck on the daggone saw pump and the blade won't shut off and i don't have time to dig it out right now and we are cutting right again this power line. I mean right again. And we got to go all the way down this hillside. All the way down this road. This whole section is going to suck. The whole section is going to suck. God, I hope we don't need a power line with this limb. Even. It's always got to be a power line. We've always got to be working on a stupid power line. If I could fix anything about my job, it would be to eliminate power lines and deer stands. Yesterday, this is a big old rock pile back here in the back. Yesterday I got over a knob and about flipped this son of a buck over, scared myself. Alright, I need to just... Oh boy. Oh boy, okay. This is scary. Cause this tree's riding on the back side and I'm getting ready to cut the good wood off. I don't know what's going on with this blade either. It acts like there's a tooth out of it. better check that too because it don't sound right. Let me cut this tree and we'll check it for two. Alright, son of a buck, don't 
I don't have time to dig out my daggone blade. I got so much going on. All right, at least this sounds better. It wasn't that dull, it just had a couple of skip. It had about three teeth that was messed up the road. You get three teeth messed up the road, the rest of the teeth are good. It'll make that skipping noise. My nerves are getting crazy this morning. I finished yesterday evening, man. I was strung out. I got myself a couple messes yesterday, and I thought I was gone there once. That gone that spooked me. All right, back to the oats. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, little oak tree, it's you or the power line. And I'm not dropping it over here, it's too close to the power line. So what we'll do, we'll cop us this little oak tree, because I, I don't have a choice. And I'm gonna try to save that oak tree beside him, but that's a big old bushy tree. There. That's a good stuff. That'll send a sprout shooting back up. What's that, honey locust? Now why is that standing there? That's all right, I'll bust him down. Holy cow, what an ale. What an ale, that's a big old elm tree right there, folks. Yeah, 
that's good. That means we got plenty of hope. And it's Elm. Elm's got stringy wood. Not towards the walnut. I'm gonna tear up that walnut. No, it made it. No, it tore the top out of it. 